All right, now the Samsung Developer Conference unveiled many interesting bits about what's next for Samsung users. And as Galaxy phone users, we were primarily interested in knowing about the all new One UI 7.0. With all the speculations about whether Samsung is going to talk about the One UI 7 or not, Samsung did not disappoint us. They did speak about One UI 7 and they also confirmed the release timeline. However, what's disappointing was the release schedule itself. Now we know that the stable version of One UI 7 will debut on the upcoming Galaxy S25 series, and this will happen only next year which is probably in the month of January, we are going to see the Galaxy S25, S25 Plus and S25 Ultra. And with that release, we are going to see the One UI 7 stable variant. However, we will be able to experience the beta version before the year end is what Samsung said. So probably this month end or early next month, we should be able to see the beta version of One UI 7. And what this means is the next version of the Galaxy S25 series will not be shipped with One UI 7.1. It will only come with One UI 7. Now, according to Samsung, they are exploring a brand new UX design with a fresh new look for the entire interface on One UI. This was kind of reassuring that we will be getting something new here with the launch of One UI 7. They went on to say that this iteration of One UI based on Android 15 is created with three goals. First one is simplicity, which streamlines the design, making it more consistent. Second one is making the One UI more impactful with signature designs. Third goal is emotions. This is more to do with the uh, transitions, animations, and transparency on One UI 7. And hearing these three goals, I feel Feel the One UI 7 is going to be really great compared to any other iterations that we received in the past. Now, there were so many leaks we saw on X about the One UI 7 from renowned leaksters like Tarun Words, Ice Universe, CID, and most of these leaks happen to be true. Let's go ahead and talk about some new changes we can expect on One UI 7. First, the most important talked about change that is the transparency, animations, and blur effect. On some of the videos shared on Twitter, it's evident that the animations and transitions are a bit different. One thing I specifically noticed on the setting menu animation, when you open a setting or go back to the previous setting page, it transitions horizontally like the iOS instead of vertical transition we currently have on One UI. Now this may be borrowed from iOS, that is what I feel because iOS has similar transitions on the settings menu and we are going to get that on One UI as well. Uh, let me know what are your thoughts about this. Next, the notification panel and quick panel have got these rounded edges. All these tiles are more rounded now compared to the previous versions. As you can see here on the notification panel, all these notifications have got a lot of gap on the right and left hand side and they are in these capsule design, more rounded corners. Personally, I prefer the previous notification panel. You let me know what you think about the new notification panel on the One UI 7. Drop a comment. This is of course still in the works. Maybe in coming days, this is going to, this may change. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. Let's wait and see. I hope they use this notification panel space in a better way. The quick tiles or the toggles are also more rounded now which is a welcome change, but it all depends on how well they utilize the space. Of course, they have to make it look visually pleasing. At the same time, they have to make sure that they utilize the space well on the phone screen. In the presentation, they did talk about the home screen design. The layout has been changed a bit now so that the icons and widgets fit well on the home screen. And I saw one of these videos where the recent applications were shown. The animations look amazing. The layout look different. Of course, this can be customized on GoodLock as well. However, the default recent apps screen and look just amazing and even the animations are looking pretty cool on this and then i did discuss about some of the leaks about this uh, search bar uh, coming to the bottom of the app tray that has really happened we do have the search bar at the bottom now for one hand accessibility we'll be able to use the phone in one hand tap on the search bar and search for the applications which is pretty cool uh, right now we have to go all the way to the top to tap on the search bar and then search for these applications but now on one ui 7 we will have this at the bottom which is more accessible for one hand use. On the gallery applications, we can see we have got these tabs at the bottom on which the new icons are sitting now. Currently, we don't have these icons. We just have the labels there. And now we have got the icons as well. We have seen this happening on the latest clock application. At the bottom, we can see the new icons on the clock application as well. And now the same has been implemented on the gallery. And I feel that the Samsung is going to make this One UI 7 look more uniform. Uh, they want to keep all these options at the bottom for one handed use. And this could happen across all the applications, all the system applications on uh, One UI. So let's hope that that is going to really happen. 
Earlier we have seen the application icons which were leaked on Twitter and now it seems to be true. We have got all the brand new app icons on One Device 7, the system app icons I'm talking about. So those are all brand new and they actually look refreshing. Now if you look at the camera applications, there are some major changes here. Uh, all those options from the top have been moved to the bottom. Uh, we have got all the menu options at the bottom itself. We just have to tap on one icon to expand it and see all these options and even the animation and transition look really cool within the camera application. I hope they really improve the camera zoom uh, transition as well. Jumping from one lens to another is something which Samsung will have to work on, especially the transition between these lenses whenever we jump from uh, 1x to 2x or 2x to uh, 3x or 5x. There is always a stutter in the transition, so that has to be changed. I hope that happens on One UI 7. And there are some brand new options also incorporated inside the settings menu. Uh, I did not get enough detail on that, so uh, probably I'll make another video. We are going to see more leak going forward forward so i will keep you guys posted so make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, become a part of apex community to stay updated with all these new upcoming updates and features tips and tricks and anything related to the android phones galaxy phones galaxy watches and technology so make sure to subscribe to the channel now this is the information we currently have on one device 7 it is going to come it is going to come in the month of january the stable version with the launch of uh, the galaxy s25 series and the beta version uh, probably in a month or two max before the end of the year is what they say but i hope they release it by end of this month or at least next early next month because they will anyways need at least a two months one and a half to two months to uh, get that stabilized and uh, release the stable version in the month of january so i'm hoping that before the end of next month we should be able to see the beta version the public beta of one ui 7. now that's all i wanted to share with you guys let me know what are your thoughts about one ui 7 do you think it's a major change or it is just a minor tweak again drop a comment and let me know uh, we are going to see some new AI features also as per Samsung uh, probably with the launch of One UI uh, 7 and that is on of course the uh, S25 series there will be a lot more new features with respect to the AI that is also expected so anyways let's wait and see how it goes uh, I will keep you guys posted with everything uh, that's about it thanks for watching I hope you have already subscribed to the channel uh, and hit that like button if you find this video informative you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye